Australia yeah. tomorrow an opportunity for you and your teammates to play on a grass, a rare site at BC <coughs> Place. How are you and your teammates feeling about this opportunity to experience it for the first time? Um, we're all excited. I just I just went to go check it out and it feels amazing. Um, I might have to contact whoever is in control of that and maybe hopefully we can keep that permanent. But uh, I'm definitely excited to get that first taste of it tomorrow. Uh, you know, it's a beautiful stadium and I think with the grass it's even better, you know. And, uh, you know, the World Cup is coming too, so, you know, we can get a taste of that too. So uh, we're all excited. As a member of Team Canada, someone who represented the country at Copa America, how are you feeling? How are you dealing with the headlines around the world regarding the cheating drone scandal that's impacted Canada soccer? Um, I've been to three camps now, and uh, I never came across or never was aware of any uh, drones or anything like that. So, you know, uh, and I don't think we anybody you know, has ever heard anything of like that. But, you know, obviously, you know, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I'm not seeing any of the headlines going on. But, um, you know, I hope the players can, you know, you know, stay locked in and, and uh, you know, you know, still focus on the goal and, and compete and bring a medal home. And, uh, and yeah, let the rest can, uh, you know, let the rest play out. Uh, it's an you know it's an exciting opportunity to be a part of uh, you know uh, an international friendly in July. You know you see all these uh, you know European teams start their you know they go on these U USA and Canada tours and you know you watch you you watch some of those games and and now to be a part of it you know and you know you get to test yourself as well you know uh, see see where you are, where you at as a team against international competition. You know, we're going against uh, a League One side, you know, so, you know, we get to see, you know, we get to see the level. So uh, it'll be fun tomorrow. It'll be a fun game, you know, a different experience. Uh, you know, uh, obviously they're known for their documentary. So, you know, hopefully uh, some fans can, you know, come out and, you know, enjoy the game tomorrow. Can you name a Ryan Reynolds movie besides Deadpool or, or Green Man? Um, Thank you for putting me on the spot, but no. <laughs> we'll take a look. No problem. Uh, Ali, uh, this game kind of comes at a period of time in the season where you got this and then the Leeds Cup, which is like a break away from what you've just come off of, which has been um, quite an intense sort of run into playing the majority of your MLS regular season. It, for you and the players, it it does it come at a good time that you've been able to sort of take a step back before then thinking about the home stretch with the MLS campaign? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I think we don't want to completely take our foot off the gas, but, you know, it's definitely a good time to kind of uh, experience some stuff. And, uh, you know, we know you know, the last part of the season, how important it will be and, you know, how big it will be for us to finish in the top four to get home field. So, uh, you know, we still want to compete in the League's Cup. You know, we we, we, want, we always want to compete for trophies. So, you know, uh, League's Cup is another trophy that we're going to compete in. And, you know, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully we'll go far in the, in, in the tournament. Um, it would be interesting. I, I would like to see it myself, but, you know, I think, um, you know, the MLS has been growing a lot and uh, the culture, you know, around the league has is, is been improving and, you know, obviously a lot of, it's been attracting a lot of big, big name players coming to our league. So, you know, with that, obviously, you know, it, it brings more of an audience. So, 
I think the, the culture has been good, but obviously we know the European culture and especially in a place like England and Wales. So um, it'll be interesting tomorrow to see to see how it goes, but I think uh, I think it'll be uh, favorable for our side. Elliot, do you have you watched the documentary? Or are you familiar with it at all? Um, I might watch it after they post our game in, in that documentary, <laughs> but I haven't watched it yet. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. You don't know the Super Paul Mullins song, I guess. But I'm aware of uh, the Super Paul Mo uh, Mullins. Can and you do uh, a few bars for us? Say it again? So you can do a few bars of that song for us? No, I can't, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Chill. It's a, yeah, it's a <laughs> nice try. PG. I mean, <laughs> and what about you personally coming off the, uh, you maybe answered this, but being with the national team, uh, you know, What's your confidence like coming back? And, and, and I mean, you've played on big stadiums mm -hmm. and, 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 and big matches, and here's another one. So what is your confidence like? Um, my confidence definitely, you know, I definitely would think it, it went up a level because the games at the Copa, you know, it's just, it's just a different, it's just a different, it's just a different vibe. You know what I mean? It's just a different monster. And playing against Argentina, the world, you know, cup champions uh, two times and and uh, Uruguay and, and these big teams. And, you know, you're playing in 80,000 stadiums and some loud uh, South American fans and, you know, some really, really, really intense games. Like, you know, playing everyone's playing like their, their life is on the line and if it's their last game. Uh, so definitely, you know, coming from that, you know, it's you learn a lot. It's an experience that, you know, not many get to get, and uh, um, you know, definitely a big, big part of my growth. You know, and taking next steps. So, you know, coming here now, I just gotta stay locked in, and you know, bring whatever I learned there, and uh, and and try to take my my game to another level here. Um, I don't know, honestly. It's a good question. I don't know. I don't know, uh, you know, maybe maybe we should try that. Maybe we should try a Whitecaps documentary. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how I'd feel. But I do value, uh, I know some guys and myself definitely do uh, value the privacy. So maybe not. In the last game we played Argentina? Yeah. yeah, that one was really tricky tricky in New York. Uh I don't know, it was it was really weird. A couple of the fields at Copa were a little tricky. Uh you know, a couple of them were, 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 were really nice, but I spent like maybe two minutes over here and I and I can tell it it's not it's not what we went through in Copa. I think uh it was it looks really good over there. It's straight, the ball looks like it'll move and it won't look like it doesn't seem like there'll be too many bounces or yeah so i think definitely better than um that argentina game but uh the copa games were were still not too too bad but but yeah definitely looks uh lovely here ali the uh match between Wrexham and chelsea a couple of days ago was pretty intense there was a proper dust up a couple minutes in how intense do you expect tomorrow's match to be against Wrexham? Um, I think something similar. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, uh, we know how, how the style of play is over there in the English leagues. Uh, you know, they, they love a proper tackle. Uh, and I don't think we're going to back down. You know, we got some guys, too, who are looking forward to get stuck in in some tackles, including myself. Uh, you know, just play against different you know, style of play, it's, it's intriguing, you know, uh, so I'm ready to go against 6'5", uh, 6'3", six six players, and uh, we'll have fun with it. We'll have fun with it, for sure. Uh, 